everyone, it's Christina with Christina Cakes It, and today we're gonna be making a Valentine's Day cake. So when people think of Valentine's Day, they always think of those little conversation hearts, and I wanted to do something really creative, and Drake has always been one of my favorite artists, and I feel like no matter what your status is for Valentine's Day, there is a Drake lyric for you. So I decided to put Drake lyrics on conversation hearts, and we're gonna make a Drake cake for this Valentine's Day. This cake has several steps. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on Drake's face and putting in the fondant details. Then I'm gonna work on the conversation hearts and putting the lyrics on the hearts and touching them up with a little bit of red. And then I'm gonna put it all together until we have our final product. So you guys can see I already have my cake ready to go. This has been frosted. Um, this is an eight inch cake, four layers. Um, and I just have it covered in my white frosting and it has been in the fridge, so this is firm to the touch. And what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna cover the top with some fondant as my base before I put Drake's face on. So I am using my homemade marshmallow fondant for this that I just dyed pink. I felt like I wanted to add some color to this cake and it's Valentine's Day, so pink made sense to me. So I'm just gonna roll this out and I made a square template, the same size of the top of this cake that I've already cut out that's ready to go. So remember when you're rolling fondant, you do wanna roll and then give it a quarter turn um, so that you get a nice even size as you're going. this down a little bit because I don't want it to overhang on the cake and the font kind of does stretch a little bit like when you move it so next what I'm going to want to do is I'm actually going to be working on Drake's face um, and I found this image online it was inspired by a poster which I will make sure to put into the show notes um, and what I did is I just traced the image um, on parchment paper because it's see-through, so I have that here. Um, and I'm just going to cut out um, the fondant in the shape of the head, and then I'm going to go through and add in all the little fine details. So now I'm gonna take my parchment paper that I traced and very carefully line it up exactly. One, two, a piece of fondant here. what I'm gonna do is take my fondant dowel tool and I'm just going to put an imprint on like all of the facial features um, to leave an, an indentation. That's what I'm trying to do here. So I don't want this to move. I might actually even pin it down. And I'm just tracing the details. And I can feel the fondant is soft and it's gonna make an indentation. is I'm gonna go over all the indentations with my Americolor black food coloring pen. And this step is probably the one that stresses me out the most. So I'm gonna be really careful.
after I have my basic outline of Drake, I wanna get him on the cake, um, and then I'm gonna finish painting in the details. So before I place this on the cake, I'm gonna put some Wilton dab and holds onto my other fondant. So you guys know I use this pretty much every tutorial. It holds um, fondant to fondant or fondant to crusted buttercream. I love it. Um, this is like one of my favorite things I ever found last year. Um, I have like a stock of it. So I'm gonna carefully lift Drake's face. I don't want this to stretch. continue to fill in the details here. So I'm gonna be really careful not to touch my like wrist on here because I don't want anything to smear. <laughs> colored in black I'm gonna actually switch to painting this with food color because it's gonna go a lot faster so I'm just gonna mix my gel food coloring with vodka and carefully paint so I just used gel food coloring it's black Americolor and I'm not even thinning it out with vodka So before I move on to the sides of the cake, I am going to add a blue tear here. So I'm gonna set my cake aside and I'm going to focus on making my Drake Lyric conversation hearts. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my conversation hearts. And as you can see, I have a bunch of different colors of fondant that I made ahead of time um, that go with that like pastel -y conversation heart look. Um, so I'm going to roll it out. And then in order to um, put the words on here, um, I'm going to be using these little letters. They're like fondant um, like stampers and I found them online so I'll make sure to put them in show notes. So I thought about doing this a couple different ways um, but because the lyrics are kind of long I needed really small letters so this was the way that worked for me. So it does take some time um, so be prepared for that but I found it was actually kind of like relaxing. So I'm going to use a straight edge to help me line this up and I'm just gonna go ahead and start stamping. So I'm just gonna press into the fondant. And this is gonna say, you used to call me on my cell phone from Hotline Bling. And I'm gonna make sure to reference all the um, songs that I get the lyrics from in the show notes. After I have my imprints in here, um, here's a really big tip that I learned. You actually do want to let these dry and harden, um, ideally overnight. Um, it's not going to matter as much for the light colors, but for the dark colors, if you don't do that, the next step isn't going to work. So I'm showing you on a yellow heart because this it won't be affected. So I'm going to go over 
the um, imprint with my red Americolor gel food coloring pen um, because those conversation hearts do have that red text and it kind of looks like almost like faded and it's not completely smooth. So um, the imprint actually makes it look really realistic. So I'm just gonna carefully trace in. conversation heart looks great and like I said you are going to want to let these dry before you stick them onto the cake um, and make sure you let them dry actually even before you do that um, last step with the red. So I did make all my conversation hearts ahead of time just to be efficient and you guys can see that Drake definitely has a lyric no matter what your status is. So next I'm going to actually start placing my hearts on the side of the cake. So I'm just going to use my dab and hold and put it on the back of my fondant hearts to attach to the cake. Um, what I want to do next is I do want to add some details just to clean this up and give it um, a more finished look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pipe um, some blue buttercream around the perimeter just so this looks a little bit cleaner. My Drake Valentine's Day cake is done and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out and I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this episode. Bye.